Will the addition of Turning Point mode in Battlefront be an actual turning point for the game? Rocket League becomes a winter wonderland and Dying Light DLC is getting more expensive. While the Attack on Titan game gets a release window in Japan, another game might not make it to the West after all. I'm Danica. And I'm Tamtu. You're watching Turnbase. One of the additions in December's free DLC for Star Wars Battlefront is the Turning Point game mode. Supporting 40 players, this is another much needed battle mode in the already scarce selection of Grand Epic Battles. In here, you participate in the Battle of Jakku, the Rebels' first big push against the Empire after the Battle of Endor in the last Star Wars movie. Unlike the Supremacy mode, the combat goes in one direction with the Rebels being completely on the offense and the Stormtroopers holding them off as long as possible. A first glimpse of this mode will be shown on the 30th of November, one day before pre-order customers get to play it first before the December update, with more free DLC to come for all players, not just Season Pass holders. A free winter event is making its way to Rocket League, turning the race car soccer, <coughs> I'm sorry, football game into a race car ice hockey game. The arenas will receive an ice theme and the big ball will replace with a giant puck. Additionally, December 14th drops various holiday-themed cosmetic items, although you don't need to buy any of these to enjoy the Winter Wonderland until January 4th. Koei Tecmo has announced a release window for their anticipated Attack on Titan game. Set for February 2016 on PS Vita, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4, there's no word on a release outside of Japan, as usual. Earlier, we reported on Dead or Alive Extreme 3, Venus and Fortune, and it has since been announced that the title will not be released in the West due to fear of backlash. Update! Where Koei Tecmo backed down due to the apparent social justice, online retailer PlayAsia tweeted they would have the English Asia version available for US and UK customers to purchase. This was met with more social justice parading and boycotting of the site. However, after taking the heat for hours on Twitter, Honeypop developer Honeypot offered $1 million to Koei Tecmo for publishing rights in the USA, followed by Instacoats offering $2 million for the rights in Europe. Koei Tecmo has yet to make an official statement on these offers, but the internet has at least delivered a delicious serving of amusement. After censoring outfits in Fatal Frame, retranslating a doge meme into something boring, and changing a job class in Bravely Second from Tomahawk to Cowboy, it seems Japan seems overly apprehensive of offending Westerners more than ever. Come on guys, I need my Attack on Titan fix. Still waiting for a second season of the anime. Lastly, DLC for Dying Light will be more expensive from here on out. The following is the next planned DLC for the zombie game and is supposedly packed with so much content, developer Techland decided to crank up the price from 15 euros to 20. They do point out, however, that season pass owners will still get the DLC at no additional cost. If you're smart, you'll spend the 20 bucks on the season pass now instead of saving it for the following, as it will also go up in price 30 bucks on December 8th. And that's it for this week's turn base with game news that matter to us. Let us know in the comments what game news mattered to you. Remember to tune into Big Red Laser tomorrow for more shenanigans with the Zooming Games crew while you prepare yourself for Black Friday. I've updated my Steam wish list big time. Hint. For those that celebrate, happy Thanksgiving. I'm Tamtu. And I'm Nanika. Be safe and don't get trampled. Because, you know, Target Friday. and Walmart. Walmart. Oh, TV, TV, TVs. <laughs>